Mr. Speaker, last Friday, a Planned Parenthood clinic in Colorado Springs became the target of the 351st mass shooting in the United States this year. Three people were killed, an Iraq war veteran, a mother of two, and a local police officer. They are now among the more than 12,000 Americans who have died in gun-related incidents since the start of the year. The shooter in Colorado Springs is reported to have used a semi-automatic AK-47 style firearm, an assault weapon that has its origins in Stalin's Soviet army. This firearm and others like it are weapons of war, not tools for self-defense. They serve no purpose other than to kill, and we can no longer permit the proliferation of and easy access to these weapons in the United States. That's why in the coming weeks I will be introducing legislation that reauthorizes the assault weapons ban. During the 10 years this ban was in effect, localities reported as much as a 72 percent decline in gun crimes involving assault weapons. And today, 59 percent of American voters support a ban on the purchase of semi-automatic and assault weapons. The only thing that stands in the way is Congress's failure to act. This time, the time for action is now. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield back the balance.